When you're ready, meet me at the Pnyx in Athens. The Spartans may draw near to our walls, but we must come together now for the glory of Athens! Glory for you! <laughs> Friend! Friends, please! Just because the Spartans are near walls does not mean we can act like them! A good crop! Shame the Spartans burn the fields where it grew! The Parthenon is glorious, Pericles, but at what cost? How many tree dams could we have built instead? We must not become divided! We are divided! And the Spartans are winning! Act, Pericles, or I will! Oh, good. You came. Things are worse than I feared. Cleon has turned the mob. We have to hurry. Where? To Pericles. Stay back! She is no threat to Pericles, I assure you. Ah, Herodotus. It's fine. Let them through. It's good to see you again, Pericles. And you as well. I only wish it were under better circumstances. And who's this? Cassandra. Welcome, Cassandra. And what did you think of your first taste of Athens? Nothing to say? Uh, others would do well to realize silence is as much of an answer as anything else. A crowd will seize the very first easy answer that comes its way, like a hungry dog on a bone. Pericles, we've come to... We must choose our moment wisely, and speak our words more privately. Fine. We've come to you on urgent business. As does everybody. I may have told Cassandra you'd invite her to your symposium. You'd ask me to exclude every Athenian and invite an outsider instead. You heard the crowd. They don't need another reason to hate me. If she's working for you, maybe the prying eyes will see her as a servant. I'm no one's servant. Cassandra, this is Athens. If you want something, sometimes you have to play a role. And what exactly is it that you want? I'm looking for a woman who's very important to me. Herodotus said a symposium could be useful for gaining information. He would be correct. I can get you in, although I can't promise the information you seek will be found. Just tell me what to do. First, check on my colleague, Medijos. He was meant to meet me today, and it's not like him to miss an appointment. Done. My friend, Phidias, needs to be taken out of Athens as soon as possible. Anything else? Yes. There's an ostracism vote taking place that could use your... Uh, influence. Metiochos. You said he was your colleague? A politician and ally. He's one of my most loyal friends. Phidias? The famous sculptor? What did he do, exactly? He stands accused of multiple offenses and is awaiting trial. You'll find him under close guard at his workshop. Ostracism? Exile is a term you may be more familiar with. Here in Athens, we vote between two people to decide who should leave. It's between the sophist, Anaxagoras, and another man on trial for impiety. My contact near the Aurora will give you the details. I'll do it. I'll expect you to use discretion. That went well. It isn't exactly an invitation, but the promise of one is just as good. Although I'm sure he'll still ask Aspasia if it's okay. So long as it comes. Oh, 
Ease. Sorry about that. How did you get past the guard? No one gets past the guard. Relax. Heracles sent me. Ah, praise Athena. I knew he'd send help. I was worried they sent someone after me. They? Who? The shadows in the night. Why you fear falling asleep? They're hunting me. Us. No one is safe in Athens anymore. The Cult of Cosmos. You know about them. Of course I know about the cult. Here, look at this. These are instructions. On how to kill me. But they've been torn. Then Pericles isn't just getting you out of Athens to save you from the trial. He's saving you from being murdered. I don't know who to trust. I'm just an artist. I just wanted to create. Please, what am I to do? First, you need to pull yourself together. You're on trial, the people are against you, and now I find that the cult want to kill you. Uh... I said pull yourself together! Yes, of course. Cleon said you're wasting the people's drachmi. If he had his way, he'd serve them your head. Cleon mentioned me? That's going to hurt Pericles. First impiety, now theft. After all we've done for this city. You and Pericles seem close. For Pericles and me, it started with our love of Athens. Our differences push us to greatness. That is true friendship. All right, we need to go. Do you have any idea where I can take you? South of Athens, there's an island called Seriphos. My friend Theras lives there. When I discovered the plot against me, I sent word to him. If anyone can help us, he can. Any clues he has of the cultists' identities, I want them. Yes, yes, anything. A guard! I'll distract them while you sneak out. Meet me tonight to set sail for Seriphos. Don't show your face until you see me at the docks. I understand. You didn't really think I'd let you come and go as you please, did you? Now, where are you? Good. You made it. I was beginning to worry. I told you I'd get you out of Athens. So you did. Can your friend be trusted? Theras and I have been friends for a long time. I just sent word telling him where to meet us. Wasting time will only get us into trouble. Let's head to Seriphos while we still can. to do that at all. I simply don't find myself traveling the seas very often. It can be freeing. Yes, freeing seems to be an accurate word. 
Although I've begun to feel a bit sick. Lean over the side if you need to. Otherwise, you're killing me. Is your stomach turning as much as mine is? You'll get used to it. We'll reach Seriphus before long. Ready the ship for boarding! It's good to see you alive and well, Phidias. And you, Thiras. As you can see, I didn't get here alone. Ah, yes. The kind and thoughtful hero you mentioned in your letter. I'm glad I could get him out alive. And for that heroism, I found some information on a man named Brisson who's plotting Phidias' early demise. Hopefully you can make something of this clue. I can. Please give Pericles my thanks and my farewell. And be careful. I still believe many in Athens are in danger. I swear on my life and the lives I will take from others, I will not fail the cosmos again. You're quiet tonight, my mother. Sorry. Years ago, on a bright night like this one, my old friend Karos and I were sailing to Samos. When we heard our names being sung out in the middle of the darkness, the song was so sweet, we forgot how to sail. Don't tell me. You saw the sun. I covered my ears to drown out their chants, but when I went to warn Karos, he was gone. I never saw him again. Yes. When the sea calls, you never know where it will lead you. Karos might be king of some faraway land by now. You never know. Go now. Pew News, the, new, the, the place where we talk about things that happen on the internet. Guys, check out my new favorite channel. It is so good. Oh my god. Look at it. This reminds me of my childhood. This feels fantastic. I love it. Please subscribe.